So, hi and welcome to East Yorkshire. I'm sitting in my barn. Uh, I needed a barn because I've got the organ bug very bad and I, I wouldn't have been happy with a tiny little one. So, essentially, I'm more or less filling this barn with organ bits. Um, the project isn't finished. I should say it's about halfway there. Um, I've always wanted a house organ, but this is a bit more than your average house organ, simply because I've got all the space to do it in. You can imagine all the material along this side plays, all these divisions play. So there's a choir, a small grate, and a swell there. They all play. There's more to go in further around the room, and eventually a whole lot will play from the big console, which is over there came from Tewkesbury Abbey. I'm sitting at this one, which is my practice organ really, and I find it very, very uh, exciting really. It'll play almost anything. One trouble about the room is that sound, to be honest, comes across too well. You're close to the pipes, so the danger is that things get too loud. In the case of the grate, I only kept one set of pipes that came with it um, and that's just flute here because the whole of the grate is only on two and a half inch wind pressure which means it sings rather than shouts and it means that unlike a church organ it's quite gentle still builds up as you add more stops. That's fairly big. In here. If you want bigger effects, what I would do is I join the divisions together. So here's a small chorus on the choir. course on the swell. Couple all three together and it really does begin to sound full. Add the mixtures to that. character stops next. So going through the flutes, nice open flute, an old fashioned stop diapason. Another one. The four foots are all different. You've got a triangular flute. Something similar to a cornet on the choir, it's a sesquialtra, which is more of a German style stop. I like it with the tremulant. And that a combination works very well as an echo to the swell. And here's a swell corne and then the echo on the choir. And of course it's in a box so you can have it loud and off if you want. I think that 
that deals with the flute work. Ah, strings. Soft traditional strings on the swell. Whoops, sorry. And some bigger strings on the choir. Both sets are tuned sharp so they can be mixed. I like my Celestes. What I haven't shown you is the 32 foot sub bass. You might just be able to see dark green pipe there. That's the bottom note of this, which is with the right speed, this should be audible, and it adds wonderful sort of underpinning to the organ. character reads, there's an oboe on the swell, clarinet on the choir, and they will balance each other. And that's even without touching the boxes. Trumpet. I use that a lot as a chorus read. That and the Cremona really add to the full swell. So you've got full swell here. With full with choir reads. And they blend in quite well. Um, there's a, a little, I'm calling it, um, it's a forgot or I assume it's only a cobbled up thing out of bits and pieces but it's better than no pedal read. The one I'm proudest of is my solo read, which is an old swell stop. Can you see the silvered pipes behind the case there? It came from a Methodist church in Manchester, and it ought not to work as well as it does, but it's fantastic in here. thing I can do to finish is do a slow build up from the softest stops till more or less full organ. I won't use that big solo read, but I'll do you a build up so you can hear the potential of the thing. I have such fun with this, I really do. <laughs>
Okay. Yeah. 